top three pieces of gym equipment you can have during quarantine. Let's do this. All right guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna to be going over the top three pieces of gym equipment that you can have during this quarantine. I understand that everything is sold out everywhere, can't get your hands on any equipment, um, and it's a huge suck fest really because you can't get anything you want, can't really go to the gym. Some gyms are open, some gyms are closed. Some people don't wanna risk getting sick in the gym. So like I said, we're gonna be going over the top three pieces of equipment that you can have at home to be doing all of your workouts. So, number one. Bands. <clears throat> so, when you're working out at home, you're probably not gonna have many things to attach stuff to. Um, not gonna have access to pulley machines. Um, stations where that are heavily anchored down or anything like that and that's where bands are going to come into play you can do so many different things with bands you can go ahead and do squats you can go ahead and do um, rows you can go ahead and do face pulls You can do overhead press. You can do shoulder work. You can do pretty much anything that you can imagine with bands. So they are going to be extremely versatile. They're gonna be extremely uh, inexpensive and accessible at this moment. So you're gonna be able to do a whole bunch of stuff with them not a whole bunch of equipment and be able to help maintain and if not even build some fitness that you got. Wait, what? That didn't make sense. Number two. Pull up bar. So I understand that not everyone's gonna be able to have space or have the funds to be able to get a big old rack or something like this. So you're gonna be able to go ahead and get one of those pull up bars that you hook into the door frames, you uh, go ahead and screw it into the door frame again. Um, you can also get these independent pull-up stand slash dip station things on like Amazon or Dick Sporty Goods, something like that. Basically anything that has a bar that you can hold on to. Now with that, you're gonna be able to do leg raises, you're gonna be able to do assisted pull-ups if you're not strong enough necessarily to do pull-ups. With your bands that you already got, thank you very much. Um, you're going to be able to go ahead and do some core work. Now, also, if it's got a dip bar, you're going to be able to do a lot more ab work, core work, shoulder work, chest work, stuff like that. So, again, another extremely versatile piece of equipment can take up as much or as little room as you want. So, pull up bar, very, very important. All right, number three, you're only going to be able to find a medium to light dumbbell. Preferably a pair, but if you can only find one, that works. You're gonna to wanna to be able to find something that you can actually do a curl with somewhat easily. You wanna be able to do about six to eight reps for a curl, um, or be able to go ahead and do about 15, 20 squats, being able to hold it right here. Now, it's not going to be the absolute best piece of equipment that you can have, but it is going to be very versatile, not take up too much space, and you're gonna be able to do a lot of damage with it. Um, kind of similar with the bands, you're going to be able to do pretty much any movement you want. You're going to be able to do dumbbell snatches. Dumbbell squats. Dumbbell cleans. Overhead press. Rows. Curls. Tricep pushdowns. Core work. whole bunch of different exercises you can do with one or two dumbbells 
it's going to be extremely, extremely versatile again with not a whole bunch of space. Now, with those three pieces of equipment, your bands, your pull-up bar, and your dumbbells, you're gonna be able to do all of the work that I have been doing for basically the past year and still making some gains. Ideally, you're gonna be able to find a couple sets of dumbbells, a light, medium, and heavy. Uh, for your bands, you're gonna ideally find a light, a medium, and a heavy, and then pull a bar, you're gonna find the best, most sturdy thing for you. Now, with those, you'll be able to have a really kick-ass gym set up, be able to do all the work that you want in your home, be able to maintain your fitness during this time. Now, we're gonna do two honorable mentions. Honorable mention number one is going to be a TRX or gymnast straps. Now, these right here is gonna be called TRX straps. These, you're going to be able to attach to a pillow bar, you're going to be able to attach to a tree, um, any type of vertical overhanging bar or uh, fixture that's strong enough to hold your body weight. Now, with this, you're going to be able to do a lot more um, body weight movements. They're going to target you uh, a little bit more unstable than, uh, say, dumbbells or bands would be. Um, and rings are exactly the same thing, just independent. Now, these things you're going to be able to find on probably Amazon or somewhere online. Um, Rogue sells some stuff like that. Um, availability is going to be kind of hit or miss on these guys, um, and they're also going to be a little bit more expensive. But they're going to be, again, a luxury for this minimal gym setup that I'm talking about. But I do find myself using my TRX quite a bit without having a whole bunch of resistance or anything like that. So, super helpful. Last honorable mention that we have is going to be some type of bench or a plyo box or a step or something like that. Something that's going to be able to be used for step ups, be able to be used for uh, hip thrusts. You're going to want it to be about 18 to 24 inches tall. Um, so if you're feeling brave, you can even build it yourself. Uh, wood glue screws and quality wood is going to take care of you. Um, and with that, you're going to be able to do all, a bunch more work. Uh, some, like I said, step ups, jumps. Um, hip thrusts, you're gonna be able to do, practice some pistol squat, you're gonna be able to do a whole bunch with that. And with that right there, it's gonna change up your variability again. Um, make sure you don't get bored, make sure you have um, some good stuff to be working on your fitness. Let's talk about upgrades. Now these bands right here, as you can see, I have five different kinds right here, um, and I think there's gonna be like seven or eight different uh, weights or resistances that you can get. Um, now, I've noticed that the more selection I have, the better off I am. I also like having doubles of each set of singles. But again, you can do a lot, just one or just two, um, or you know a couple, but we really wanna try and have small, medium, large resistance to be able to do all of our different movements. Uh, for dumbbells, dumbbells, we wanna ideally have a light set, a medium set, and a heavy set. Um, I personally, have um, adjustable dumbbells made by PowerBlock. So uh, I'm a, I have my set from five to 90 pounds. Um, that is more than enough for me, but if it is unavailable, get something that, like I said, light, medium, or heavy. Pull a bar. You wanna get something that is sturdy. Now, ideally, you're gonna be able to drill it into the wall or the studs, and you're gonna have an awesome pull up bar. I know Rogue makes some over the door things, but really all you need is a pipe mounted somewhere to be able to do pull-ups. I live in an apartment, so I can't be mounting anything. So I have this monstrous rack right here, uh, and it works really well. Before this, I had a, a rack that I got on Amazon. I think it was like 110, 130 bucks, something like that. Uh, and it was literally pull-up dip station, held like 300, 350 pounds. Um, works well, not ideal, but like I said, upgrade right here, or being able to mount something into the wall gonna be ideal. All right guys, that is my top three picks for uh, quarantine gym equipment. I uh, hope it helps. I uh, hope you're able to find some stuff and keep your fitness going. Now remember, you if you don't have the ability to get any of this stuff due to funds, due to availability, something like that, you're still able to go for a run outside. You're still able to do squats, push-ups, uh, go find a bar, do some pull-ups at a park, uh, find a bench do some step ups, stuff like that. Um, fitness is only limited to your imagination. So you're able to do a whole bunch of stuff 
um, without all this equipment. It's all luxuries. You don't need it. Um, it just makes the training easier and nicer. But like I said, you don't need it. All you need is the will to work out, will to go get better, and then uh, just keep working at it. But if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Um, let me know in the comments below what gym equipment you have, what's been working well for you in this uh, whole crazy period of things. Um, and yeah, I will check in with you guys next video.